Well, progress is underway in New London for Revolution Wind, Connecticut's first offshore wind farm. Today, a nearly 500-foot wind turbine installation vessel is at State Pier before heading out to sea and getting to work. NBC Connect's Melissa Cooney joins us live now for an update on the project. Melissa. That's right, Kevin. This is the wind Cecilia behind me. This is the vessel that will be bringing wind turbines out on the Atlantic to Revolution Wind. A 23,000 ton boat from Denmark is making waves in New London. It's just um, probably the most economic activity in our harbor for maybe 100 years. With dozens of new jobs created, New London Mayor Michael Passero says the city's revenue is over $1.5 million a year from wind farm projects. Passero says people in the city can expect a continuation of the construction site at the state pier. And the barge is, is taken out and it will meet this, this huge installation vessel out in, in, the, um, in the field off of Martha's Vineyard. New London is going to be a hub and is now the hub for offshore wind staging. Revolution Wind will be 65 turbines. Port Authority Executive Director Ulysses Hammond says it will provide 704 megawatts of power to Connecticut and Rhode Island. This installation vessel arrives days after a turbine blade fell into the water near Nantucket. Hammond says these blades are a different make and model, but safety is paramount. We are all uh, waiting to see what the results are from their review and uh, we'll be taking some notes. With this incident top of mind, there are some fishermen concerned when it comes to navigating a wind farm and it impacting their livelihood. Safety first for our fishermen, uh, entering wind farms during adverse conditions, um, environmental disruption. Joe Gilbert of Empire Fisheries in Stonington says their concerns about radars working in wind fields, the lifespan of the turbines and their impact on the water, and animals being impacted by the sound and wind. That's what's super important to us is keeping the environment healthy so that we have a place to go and pursue our occupations. And another project will be happening after Revolution Wind is constructed. That's called Sunrise Wind, and that will have 84 turbines. Live in Groton, Melissa Cooney, NBC Connecticut News.